I'm George Paul Williams from Liberia. I am the Secretary General of the National Health Workers Union of Liberia, which is an affiliate of Public Services International. The National Health Workers Union of Liberia is a trade union institution that protects the interests of the health workers of the Republic of Liberia. Trade unions play a key um, role in the achievement of the health for all policies because you have to realize is that it is the health workers who are providing the services to the population. And so if we are going to realize what we call health for all, health workers must be brought on board, they are a stakeholder, they must be given the necessary training, they must be part and parcel of decision making, and they must be given um, the rightful incentives to you know, make them to do their jobs, providing them all of the required materials they need, supplies they need to carry on their duties. And being the foot runners or people on the white floor, they need to be part and parcel of the planning process, they need to be part and parcel of decision making, their voices must be heard so that the right things are on the workflow for people to be able to get or achieve health for all. The policy of this um, um, universal health care came in and we see a vast difference in how the health system was being operated before. In the time past when comprehensive family, uh, primary health care was being implemented in Liberia, we saw that people were getting to the facilities for services, the services were readily provided, there were medications and supplies in adequate uh, quantity. Unfortunately, after the war seasons in Liberia and we came back to ourselves, we come to realize a new setup of you know, operative. Now government is going towards the policies of the um, World Bank and donors, and these donor targeted um, um, policies are leaving out some aspect of health care because, for example, they take the issue of HIV and AIDS as just a particular thing that they must work on. Health care must be holistic. It has to be involving and not selective. And that selective aspect is what we as a trade union institution we are against because we feel our services must be provided to all people without border and not just certain things are available for certain people who have certain conditions that are interest of interest to certain donors whilst other people come to the same facility they come to you for care and they cannot get the care because those things are not available okay so this is one thing we have been trying to fight against and then the next thing that happens is because they have these things in a selective um, uh, uh, um, sponsorship, so the rest of the other programs are left unsponsored. For example, right now in Liberia, I work in a clinic, a facility where MSF is running portion of the facility for mental health care. And I am in the emergency room, but my emergency room activities are not so, um, so linked to the MSF program, which is mental health care. If I have a patient that is showing signs of mental health problem, I refer them there. When they go there, they get very good care. In fact, the building is divided. They have electricity on the side of the MSF caring portion. And we in the, intense, uh, the emergency room, there is no electricity in our place. Everything the patient needs is not even available. We do not even have gloves, disposable gloves. And so we have to um, ask students who are coming to practice to bring in gloves. But we are in the same building, or in fact, MSF, that is a very big organization, is in the building with us. And we don't have gloves, but they still have gloves. This is how you see the selective care is going, and that's how it has an impact on the services we provide. So in the same building where MSF is operating, <clears throat> we are from the government side, we write prescription for patients to carry home and go to buy medications. And sometimes they carry the prescription because they cannot afford to buy them. 
They would, after two, three days, they come right back to the clinic and you would identify them and say, but you were here two, three days ago. And they say, yes, I have the paper, but I could not buy the medicine. So I come back to see if government have brought medications. And we think this is not right. We definitely believe that in fact, as health is a human right, it should solely and wholly be on the shoulders of the government. And government should design all of the means by which it can take this, take, um, this responsibility head on. Of course, partners can come and help, but we feel it is the government's responsibility. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, you will realize that in Africa, West Africa for that matter, the, 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 the regional leaders have agreed to spend 15% of their annual budget on the health sector. Unfortunately, they are not even spending 15% of their budget on the health sector. And that is, even if they could even spend 15%, it will still be in minute to the needs, the health services needs of the people. But they are not even doing that and heavily depending on donors. And this is how come these donor-driven policies have some you know, problems because they don't meet the needs as they should be met. Yes, we can all work together, but we must plan it together and it should not be tied to special programs. It should be health for all. Everybody who comes to the facility must be able to get um, redressed for the problem they come for because we all know there are different types of diseases and not only few or selected ones. Everybody who comes must be able to have them, their, their grievances addressed. In Liberia and across the globe, we call for total inclusion of stakeholders to include the communities, to include the health workers and decision makers and other donors to be able to plan and formulate policies in the health sector. We want the world to return to the primary health care system of delivering health care because that calls for total inclusion of everybody and we think that is the best way we can move forward in the total care of the world. Yeah,